This is the morning office for February 25th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 22, verses 22 to 30. Praise the Lord, you that fear him. Stand in awe of him, O offspring of Israel. All you of Jacob's line give glory. For he does not despise nor abhor the poor in their poverty. Neither does he hide his face from them. But when they cry to him, he hears them. My praise is of him in the great assembly. I will perform my vows in the presence of those who worship him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied, and those who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your heart live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nation shall bow before him. For kingship belongs to the Lord. He rules over the nations. To him alone all who sleep in the earth bow down in worship. All who go down to the dust fall before him. My soul shall live for him. My descendants shall serve him. They shall be known as the Lord's forever. They shall come and make known to a people yet unborn the saving deeds that he has done. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Genesis. When Abram was ninety-nine years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless, and I will make my covenant between me and you and will make you exceedingly numerous. Then Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham for I have made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you. The king shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. God said to Abraham, As for Sarai, your wife, you shall not call her Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. I will bless her, and moreover I will give you a son by her. I will bless her, and she shall give rise to nations. Kings of peoples shall come from her. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. My thought for today on silence begins with the proposition that without the capacity for inner silence, we cannot really hear, love, or understand others. I wonder if you've ever had that experience where you were in a conversation and you weren't really listening to the other person. You were spending all your time thinking about what you were going to say next. Imagine how difficult it is to know someone in that way. Then imagine how difficult it is to know God 
if that is your approach to speaking with God. Certainly, when we are full of noise and full of our own thoughts and imagination all the time, we tend to make others into a false image. We make them fit into whatever's going on in our heads rather than knowing them for who they truly are. Once again, imagine how that works with God. If what we're trying to do is shoehorn God into a box, much better to be silent and perhaps in that silence to discover who God truly is, what God truly says to us, to understand what it is that God desires for us. So that capacity for silence is part of the way that we lay aside false gods, false images of God, and begin to recognize who it is that God truly is. I ask your prayers for all the concerns of the world today, all the things that are on your heart, all those you know to be in trouble or in danger, all who are sick, all who are recovering. Pray that all those around you will somehow be touched by the grace of God today, perhaps through your own hands. Pray also for the world, that even in places that are so far from us that we have no awareness of them, we will be able perhaps to extend the love of God just a little bit and pray for the church that in his work around the world and right in our own neighborhood, it will in some way proclaim the love of God today. O God, whose glory it is always to have mercy, be gracious to all who have gone astray from your ways and bring them again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith to embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word, Jesus Christ, your Son, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>